Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are watching for the first time, this is a channel on engineering studies focusing more on electrical and electronics engineering. Please check the description box to check the previous link of my video which I already uploaded. Also please like, share and subscribe. Do click on the bell icon to get notified as I upload new video on every week. Welcome to the playlist of sensors and transducers. In the previous session I have mainly concentrated on the indirect method of measurement of pressure. So in the previous session I just focused on the Pirani vacuum gauge. I have explained the construction details, the principle of operation and the concept behind Pirani type vacuum gauge. In this video I am going to concentrate on the ionization gauge. Let's understand what do we mean by ionization gauge. First of all, we will be discussing the basics of ionization gauge. Why ionization gauge is required? You know, ionization gauge is mainly used for measuring low pressure. I think below atmospheric pressure. You can able to measure the ionization gauge below the atmospheric pressure. The correct the information, you can able to refer any of the a textbook which are related to the pressure range i mean the pressure range you can able to measure time being you can understand that it is mainly used for measurement of low pressure and it is suitable for below atmospheric pressure remember that clear so next one there are three components in ionization gauge the first one is called cathode and uh, second one is known as grid and the third one is known as plate these are the three major components of uh, ionization gauge basically we call it as electrodes and uh, these three are conductors it is made up of conductors here the speciality of cathode cathode will be acting as a heating element remember that see the cathode you can able to observe here the cathode will be acting as a heating element and uh, another thing uh, the remaining electrodes like a grid and plate that is enclosed in a glass plate or a glass vessel that point also you have to underline you know the vessel is filled with uh, a particular gas okay whole vessel is filled with the, uh, the gas which prevents oxidation uh, there is an operating there is an opening where the vacuum system is connected for which the pressure is to be measured here that uh, there is an opening you can able to see here okay there is an opening in that particular glass tube where i wanted to measure the pressure so these are the basic information here one more thing you can able to observe there are two meters meter a and meter b okay here you can able to see the ig ig means a current through the grid electrode grid ig and ip means a current through the plate electrode ig and ip okay these are the current which is generating from uh, the grid as well as plate that point you remember then another thing you can able to see these are the operating voltage v1 and v2 these are the operating voltage of the system that point also you have to remember here there is an opening as i said that is mainly for measuring the pressure pressure will be interacting in this particular port let us continue the discussion let us move on to the individual segments here cathode please identify the cathode i can see that this is a cathode Cathode is directly connected with the heating element. See, this is your heating element. Okay, heating element. Cathode is interacting with the heating element. Heating element. You can note down this. Uh, then with respect to the pressure, the cathode will be activated. And it starts emitting electrons. And uh, kinetic energy also will be getting increased as the pressure is getting increased. You know the pressure... With respect to the pressure, you know, uh, the electrons start jumping, the kinetic energy is getting increased. So, the electrons will be accelerated towards the grid plate. You can see the grid plate, the electrons. Electrons charge will be minus only, E minus. That is equal to 1 point. The charge of one electron will be 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. That point you must have remembered, right? Okay. So, n number of electrons that will be accelerated towards grid plate. Therefore, that medium is getting conductive. Uh, then, uh, definitely, uh, th what is going to happen? The medium is getting electrified. Okay, so the grid plate become positive. The grid is becoming positive. 
the cathode is becoming negative as a result so the grid current ig will be generated please note down please make a note grid current I, ig will be generated so that i have written over there so that because that medium is getting conductive electrons start jumping from cathode to uh, that particular grid plate so therefore the medium is getting conductive so the circuit is getting completed as a result anyway we are providing the potential we are providing the potential difference so electrons start moving from uh, positive to negative okay medium is getting conductive anyway we can say that few electrons that will be moving apart from uh, the grid so still few electrons will be jumping and that electrons will be reaching towards the plate see we can able to say that remaining electrons ionizes the gas medium that is true then due to the ionization uh, again electrons and uh, po uh, positive ions will be produced see the positive ions will be attracted towards the plate because n number of electrons will be generated again that is responsible for uh, getting the medium get ionized as a result uh, it will be reaching towards the plate electrons are reaching towards the plate this results the generation of plate current it is denoted by the letter ip and uh, that uh, plate current can be measured by using the second meter b there are two meters meter a and meter b so meter b reads ip okay so ip is associated with the, the current which is generated from the plate electrode and ig is related to the current which is generated from the grid electrode the pressure of the gas is proportional to the ratio of ip and ig therefore we can write the total pressure generated over the see the pressure whatever the pressure it is applied or generated over here that will be directly associated with the, the ratio of uh, the plate current to the grid current ip divided by ig so you can able to correlate the relation so this is the way how ionization gauge operate i hope the session is very clear to you here you have to consider the diagram okay you have to consider the diagram and you have to first of all you have to mention how the ig gate current is getting generated afterwards how does ip generate finally the pressure that is directly proportional to the ratio of ip and ig but there are certain setbacks what are the major drawback of this particular system the drawbacks are the heating element can burn quickly if heated when pressure is very much low that is a one of the setback so extra care need to be taken while installing these gauges otherwise it may leads to fire hazards okay maintaining the pressure everything will be uh, difficult actually so in this video i have discussed about how does ionization gauge operate first of all i have given the introduction to ionization gauge it is one of the indirect method of pressure measurement okay and uh, especially low pressure can be measured very easily and also i have explained very clearly how does the ionization gauge operate if you are having any questions related to this topic kindly put up in the comment box surely i will revert finally thank you very much for watching this video